What is up YouTube? I have here the MacBook Air 13 inch. Well, I guess it's the only inch they have, but this is the new M1 MacBook Air in gold. They say gold, but it's really rose gold. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. I originally ordered a space gray one that had 16 gigabytes because I figured, you know, most computers should have 16 gigabytes by now, but after watching a couple videos, I canceled that order and decided to get just the base um, MacBook Air with the 512 storage and the eight core CPU, eight core GPU. So I saved myself a couple hundred dollars and got this one. Now, unfortunately, by that point, they had already sold out of the space gray. So I was like, oh, I'll just get something flashy. I'll get, I'll get the gold. And I was really hoping it'd be gold, but it's rose gold. Now I previously had a 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2018, pretty much spec'd out max GPU, 32 gigabytes RAM. I forget what the CPU was, but I actually ended up selling it. I didn't really end up using the MacBook Pro to I guess it's full potential. Um, I have a desktop that I do most of my editing work for. And so I felt having this expensive of a computer just sitting there um, was a little overkill. And then I wanted to have a laptop because I like, you know, if I'm in bed or just out um, being able to do basic tasks, but that computer is pretty heavy for those kinds of things. This is going to be a lot lighter, more portable, and the fans don't exist. That was my one problem with the MacBook Air and why I couldn't make it kind of my desktop solution because I mean my MacBook Pro, I don't know what I said, but the MacBook Pro 15 inch, I couldn't make my desktop because those fans really annoyed me. Got my unboxing knife. That's enough talk. Let's get into this one. So pretty typical Apple box for MacBooks. Um, you know, you'd think that because they're going eco-friendly with the new iPhones, maybe they could make this box slimmer too, but from what I've heard, this is exactly the same machine physically, just different internals. First impression is this is actually really, really nice. Oh, I still have this plastic on. <laughs> All right, so actual first impressions. That's probably pretty loud. This is um, kind of pink, but I really like this color. I don't know if you guys can really, ooh. I don't know if you guys can see how well that is. Probably gonna reflect off the light pretty harsh, but this is a pretty nice color. Um, I'm kind of tired of the space gray and silver is just kind of old for Apple. So this is kind of nice that they have this extra color for these airs and kind of why I went with the air. I know as stupid as that sound over the pro, the pro does have the fans um, and the touch bar. All right, so this is pretty thin, but honestly, I, I feel like I would have, I was expecting thinner, uh, but it feels good. Like this is a good size for a portable laptop, 13 inches. Uh, my first ever Mac was an 11 inch MacBook Air um, and that thing was tiny. So we have the pamphlets, which I'm assuming is just stickers and maybe some paperwork. We have the USB-C to USB-C cable and they do come with a charger for these devices. So you have everything you need right inside the box and that's it. So. Like I said, I think they probably could have made this a little slimmer, but I mean, is it really worth designing or redesigning this? Who knows? Not sure if I've already said this, but what has me the most excited for this laptop is the fact that it has no fans. So the only way the air is getting out is through this vent on this back uh, and maybe through the ports, but this thing is gonna be completely silent. The one of the things I hated with the Intel Mac, that's the thing I'm the most excited about. Again, this isn't meant to be a whole production situation here. This is meant to be my portable laptop if I want something in bed, uh, something on the go, uh, just kind of normal day stuff, but also be able to, wow, I can't speak English. I meant also be able to do some kind of a workflow and with it being able to take HEVC H265 footage 
uh, you know, 10-bit 422 and just process it like butter, that's got me stoked. You know, I have the A7S III, so I'm gonna try it. This video is shot in that format and it will be edited on this laptop. I guess if you guys see this video, that means it worked and I liked it. And if you're not seeing this, then I don't know how you hacked my computer. All right guys, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, I'm gonna do a review taking this laptop from basic tasks all the way up to doing crazy tasks like video uh, rendering, um, just kind of throwing everything I can with the footage that I can get, um, adding all kinds of stuff and seeing if I can really choke it down or at what point does it, or is it limited? The past couple of weeks I've been getting some life stuff in order. So I'm really back, back, I never really went anywhere, but I am excited to put out more content, this being the start of it. Thank you for sticking around with this channel for those few people that are here. <laughs> All right, see ya.